Hi, I'm Peter from First Maths. Today we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting multiples of 1, 10 and 100. The resources you need today will be a large set of arrow cards 1 to 9, 10 to 90 and 100 to 900. Six cards showing plus 1, minus 1, plus 10, minus 10, plus 100, minus 100. Worksheet on number patterns. The mental learning objective. I know what each digit in a number represents. Today's lesson is about adding and subtracting multiples of 10 and 100 tens numbers and a hundred numbers hundred numbers mental learning task to get warmed up we are going to play a few counting games start at 28 and count with me in ones 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And we stop at 50. And now we count back to 28. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28. Well done. Start at 5, count on in 10. 5. 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105. Stop when you get to over 100. Okay, so we'll start at 105, 95, 85. 75, 65, 55, 45, 35, 25, 15, 5. Start at 100, count on in 10. Okay, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. 170, 180, 190, 200. Count back to 100, from 200. 200, 190, 180, 170, 160, 150, 140, 130, 120. 110, 100. Start at 5, count on in hundreds. Okay. 5, 105, 205, 305, 405, 505, 605, 705, 805. 905, 1005. Now we stop when we pass the thousand, so now we count back to five. 1005, 905, 805, 705, 605, 505, 405, 305, 205. 105 and 5. 
one is the start number. So now, so one, two, three, four, five, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. 50, 51, 151, 251, 351, 451, 441, 431, 421, 422, 423, 424, 324, 224, 124, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, and end. Good. So our mental learning task was this. Can you make these numbers from the arrow cards? 26, 34, 78, 708, 630. So Pause the video and show your teacher that you can make each of these numbers. Now, can you make the numbers which are one more than these? So, 26 plus 1 is 27. 78 plus 1 more is 79. 708 plus one more is 709. 34 plus one more is 35. 630 plus one more is 631. Pause the video and Make each of these numbers and show your teacher. Now, can you make the numbers which are 10 more than these? So 26 plus 10 is 36. 78 plus 10 more is 88. 708 plus 10 more is 700. 18. 34 4 plus 10 is 44. 630 plus 10 is 640. Pause the video and show your teacher you can make these numbers. Now can you make these numbers which are 100 more than these? This is easy. 26 plus 100 is 100. 126. 78 plus 100 is 178. 708 plus 100 is 808. 34 plus 100 is 134. 630 plus 100 is 730. Pause the video and show your teacher that you can make them. Welcome back. Now, can you make the numbers which are one less than the 26? Take away one is 25. 78. Take away one is 
77. 708 take away 1 is 707. 34 take away 1 is 33. 630 take away 1 is 629. Pause the video and show your teacher you can make these. So, some of these numbers which are 100 less than these. Can you make a number 100 less than 26? It would be minus 126. But I don't think we can make that. This one would be minus 78. And again, I don't think we can really make that on our number card. This one we can. 708 take away 100 would be 608. 34 take away 100 would be minus 134. And this one would be what? 630 take away 100 would be 530. So you could make this. We can go on to the next slide. Now you can make the numbers which have 10 less than these. 26, take away 10, 16. 78, take away 10 is 68. 708 take away 10. That's a tricky one again. This one will be 698. 34 take away 10 will be 24. 630 take away 10 will be Six hundred and twenty. Pause the video and show your teacher the answer. Mental learning objective. I know what each digit in a number represents. The main learning objective. I can split or partition a number into its component hundreds and, and units. I can save a number that is 1, 10 or 100 more or less than any given 2 or 3 digit number. If you add, subtract 10 or 100, the units stay the same. This is the key idea. Do not forget it. Main learning task. Today we are going to work in three groups. Group 1 has the easiest task, Group 2 the middle task, Group 3 has rocket science extra hard. Group 1, easiest. You will need to wait if you need to use this computer. Group 2, you only write the following numbers and signs. You can use each more than once in any time. What are the answers? How many different sums can you use using these symbols and numbers? For example, 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 10 times equals 
Okay. How many different ways can you do make a sum? You could, of course, always do 1 plus 1 equals 2, or 10 plus 10 equals 20, if you wish. Group three, artist. Complete the number patterns worksheet, which your teacher will give you. Group one, simplest task. You will need one set of operation cards. You will need a set of arrow cards. Pick a number from the table below. Make it with arrow card. Pick an operation card. That might be plus 1, minus 1, plus 10, minus 10, plus 100, minus 100. What does it say? Take the card made from the arrow cards, work out the answer to the sum in your head, like 305 plus 1 is 306. Change the arrow card to show the new number. Can someone else check if you are right? The child who solves the sum picks the next number. How many can you do? The main learning objective, I can split or partition a number into its component hundreds, tens or units. I can save a number that is one, ten or a hundred more or less than any given two or three digit number. Plenary. I have lots of one pennies and ten penny coins. How could we make 15 pence. How could we make 33 pence? For example, that might be three 10 penny coins and three 1 penny coins. How else could I make it? How could we make 59 pence? Pause the video and work out the answers. What other ways could we make 59 pence? My bag now only contains 10 coins. I know there are only 1 penny and 10 penny coins. What different amounts might there be in my bag? Let's write them down. Different amounts of coins. You can pause the video to solve the question. Did you find all 11 ways? How can we find which one is missing? We can count them, put them in order and look for patterns. Review of a key idea. Today's key idea was, if you add or subtract 10 or 100, the unit stays the same. Did you find that out today? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to know when I am uploading my next video. If you click the bell, it will notify you every time I upload a video. Also, of course, don't forget to like this video because I always like seeing how many likes each video gets. Have a great day and I will hopefully see you again.